Hello everybody and welcome back to a really exciting midweek dedicated video to something I've been keeping from you. That's right. That's right. I have a secret. <laughs> I'm so stoked to bring this to you. Online Makeup Academy reached out to me to see if I would take their special effects course and I am halfway through it and I am here to tell you a little bit about it. So if you're somebody who have ever been interested in makeup class, special effects class, and didn't know where to begin. Online Makeup Academy is a basically like go at your own pace online makeup school and you can learn master makeup, you can learn advanced makeup, you can learn effects makeup, and you can learn hair. There's so many various types of courses. When I started years ago, <laughs> I was in Virginia and I took this little dinky, like the, the school that offered aesthetics, esthetician stuff. I didn't want to go to school for the esthetician part because I wasn't as interested in skincare and all of that. So I didn't want to do facials and whatnot. I wanted to do the color. I wanted to do the makeup. When I approached school, I asked if I could just take their makeup course and learn from their instructor because I wanted to know the basics of just how to become a makeup artist. How do you even begin? So I did, I took that class and we talked about sanitation and the basics. I got the Kevin O'Quan Holy Bible of makeup. <laughs> I need to thumb through that again because that book is really good to just, you know, refresh. So that was like my only experience really in like a learning from like somebody who works in Hollywood and does actual onset makeup. The teacher was like, she was what, I think she was on X-Files. I think it was X-Files. I can't remember. It was a very long time ago. But needless to say, this kind of opportunity would have been so ideal. Little Sienna back then would have killed to take a course like this because you can do it from the comfort of your own home. You could do it at your own pace. I think getting the just master makeup would be really good for someone who even is just like, how do I do it? How do I break into it? How do I take this more seriously? How do I get taken more seriously? Because once you start to do that and you get certified, then you can start applying for your pro cards, which means you get discounted um, makeup and things for your kit. So if even like through Maron, Maron is like a special effects kind of really well known cosmetic company and you can get your pro card, pro discounts with them. Then it helps you stock your professional kit so that way you have all the supplies you need to do your job. This is like a really cool opportunity to tap into that, get to know some people in the industry, have your instructors tell you how to succeed. So as I said, I'm halfway through it. And when you start the course, when you pay for the course and sign up for it, you do get a very extensive kit to go with all of it. So that it's, so it's included in it. And it's a Maron kit. And then you also get a bunch of prosthetics. You get the adhesives, you get the paints and just all the supplies that you're gonna need to be able to do the effects that you learn in this course. So far what I have learned is bruises, cuts, uh, just how to make somebody look frozen, chapped lips, which was a really fun one, um, fake tears, which was really cool too. The tears, I don't know why, I just loved. I still have to do airbrushing, fake tattoos, um, like hair, like facial hair, beards and stuff like that. I still have to learn prosthetics and then aging and then also character development. So there's nine modules all together in the course that I'm taking. And so I'm about halfway, yeah. So I just did sunburns. That's the one that I just, so fun. Oh my God, see, and this is the kind of stuff that I just geek out on. I'm so, I'm so into it. Your teacher, her name is Crystal. She is an effects artist in the industry. She's worked on famous people like Courtney Cox. She's done TV, movies, all that. And you know, you could tell she knows her stuff. She definitely is professional, straight and to the point as far as like, you know, sanitation, don't cross contaminate. Make sure you're asking people about their allergies because there's a lot of latex involved. There's like various things involved that you wanna make sure that you keep your um, actor safe. A lot of these online class type situations will have you pay for the class and then you take it and then that's it. But this actually has a teacher there grading your work and giving you feedback so you're learning as you go from what you're doing. I think that's really important because how do you know that you're doing it right? I'm going to show you so far what I have gotten done. So here is past Sienna doing her bruising. All right, so here is a little studio lighting. 
I at first was gonna like calm down the yellow and then I realized that maybe it looks kind of more realistic like the photo because the photo is really yellow and I'm sorry to whoever it is that had this bruise because that looked like it hurt and I hope you're okay. I never realized how yellow and green and blue and purple and like all that did you just go drink tons of water and then slap it all over my arm? So anyway, that I think is not bad. Bruising is one of those things that you really get to play with various types of color and just how that all works and the stages of bruising. So I have a feeling that like, once you start getting into this mindset that whenever there's a bruise on a friend or something you're gonna be like can i take a photo of that and how long has it been there because you kind of need to know these things you need to know is this like a month old is this a few months old is this brand new because they look different as they've been you know punched or hit or whatever the in point of impact where it hits what the impact was hit you know was it a pipe was it a punch it's just all these things make up a difference of how the bruise is going to look and she teaches you how to do that. I think that's just so cool. This is the kind of stuff that makes me so excited about being a makeup artist, I swear. And if you're into it too, and if you get that itch, that like excitement when you think about doing this kind of stuff, then you're in the right place. Here's another example. I really need to get a better fake blood. So right now I feel like my cut is okay, but here is Sienna from the past with her cut on her forehead all right and here is my scrape my cut I guess you can say more of a, of a cut I didn't have a, a stippling sponge because I wanted to do a scrape they're really cool but there's my there's my fake cut see what I mean by that I feel like the cut could have been a little bit more bloody color I think I did okay I think I did okay but I I would have not have thought of using so many various types of color to add depth, where to add the depth, where to make the skin look raised and all of that stuff. Something else that I learned was chapped lips, which I think was really fun too and really easy surprisingly to do. Uh, you can make someone's mouth look like parched or chapped or just like frostbitten really, really easily. You can tell that you're a master at something when you make it look easy and she makes it look easy. The way that she just like taps her brush across the lip and just like tent went like that instantly looked, you know, like it was real. And then I'm doing it going, okay, I don't have the magic touch yet. You know, you have to get that magic touch. And that's when you know somebody's been doing something for a really long time. They know exactly where to do it and just the shape of the face and the bone structure and all of that. Because a lot of this is also anatomy. You start to realize that this is anatomy. So you have to start studying the body and the skeleton and like where the bones protrude and your you know sockets tears i did tears um that was really cool too i did an unconventional one here's sienna with her pink tears okay and actually this is not really what the lesson exactly taught us as far as making it look like you have been crying i actually mixed it a little bit with like a trending reel that I saw of cute almost anime style tears and makeup so I went for more of the pinky look but what she was teaching in the class was more of like an actual literal cry look so I do want to try that but I actually want to remove these lashes which these are on their 10th day or 7th day of wear so it's time to take them off anyway which you guys know I wear DIY lash extensions weekly and yeah it's time to take them off so I would be able to do more of a realistic looking like if it were an actor they wouldn't have this type of pinky glam makeup on so there's some tricks to there's several tricks to fake tears actually anyway I just wanted to show you this one and back to discussion of the class Sienna <laughs> So next time I'll do less pink and a little bit more of a peachy pink or like a skin tone flush so that it looks more realistic. So that was the only difference of what I could have learned to do. As I said, I'm only halfway through, so I'm excited to update you guys more on what I'm doing, but dude, I am so excited to have my certification in special effects. I think it would be a smart way to get people to take you a little bit more seriously in the industry, especially your clients or people that you're trying to like, it'll give you that confidence that you can sell yourself to people more and be like, hey, I know what I'm doing. I took, I took a class. 
if you want to take their master makeup class i'd say go for it if you want to learn special effects like i am it's great for people who are already at mua that work in beauty but we're thinking like hey i want to expand my expertise i want to have more things to offer i want to have more you know if somebody calls me on set for anything i want to be able to do that the greatest thing of all the online makeup academy has offered my viewers a hundred dollars off that's insane that's insane can i use my own coupon code so i can take the first course i want to try to take the master course <laughs> can i use my anyway links and everything is in the description box below so you guys can go check it out even just go look go look on the website check it out poke around so if you want to check out their website all of that's going to be linked below for you guys and again you get a hundred dollars off if you would like to sign up for a course yourself go at your own pace learn continue education never stop learning anyway that's all i've got for you guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up go check out all these links and i'll see you guys on the next video